Our series of maths in the kitchen videos has got a trial of the kitchen sink. And here you can see a really interesting piece of fluid dynamics. When you run the tap onto an, at the bottom of an empty sink, you see a little more or less circular region around where the water lands, where the water is very shallow and moving very fast outwards. And then you see a much deeper and more slowly moving region outside that. Now, this is something you can uh, analyze using a variety of mathematical models, actually. The basic one is called the shallow water equations. And these are the equations that model the motion of uh, a more or less inviscid liquid, which is very long and thin compared to its depth. And the prediction of shallow water is that you will get a jump in the depth called a hydraulic jump or a shock and you can analyze that and calculate where it will be and how deep the jump will be in terms of the flow rate. Now this kind of hyd hydraulic jump happens in nature for example the famous bores or tight waves on the uh, River Severn and the River Trent and the Hooghly River and various other rivers around the world. These are all moving examples of the same thing you have in your kitchen sink. And it turns out that the equations of gas dynamics, which describe how, the, uh, how air behaves, also have solutions very like this. So the sonic boom made by uh, Concorde in, back in the day, or a rocket, space rocket re-entering the atmosphere, these are exactly the same mathematical phenomenon as what you see in your kitchen sink. So your kitchen sink is a little microcosm of a whole lot of things that happen in the wider world.